the guys told me that they wanted me to go to Europe to see if there are any you know video stores left in Europe. Uh, so you know, yeah, I said yeah, you know, like sure, I'll, I'll definitely. I mean, if if you, if you guys if, if they're paying for it, sure. Alright guys, I'm going to head off, got to be at the airport a few hours early, um, actually flying makes me a little bit anxious but I'm sure to be alright. This is probably not the best movie you watch, no, actually, to tell you the truth. Alright guys. Well, I'll see you. I'll see you in about a month. Uh, take care of the store for me. Make sure Alan doesn't, you know, ruin it as usual. I'll see you soon. stop was London. You know, by the time the guys got there, um, they were pretty jet lagged. You know, and so was I. Alright guys, let me just take a step back and show you the reservation. So we didn't really do a lot of looking around in London, but um, you know the guys that actually researched it and they said that there weren't any video stores left in London anyway, so we just headed straight on over to Paris. You, know, you don't have to be filming or everything, do you? Like, we're just at a train station. Like. I kind of asked was that you know I've been wanting to go to Disneyland for for a long time so you know but I, I said I'd pay for it. <laughs> Disneyland was fun, you know. Got to meet. You know, some of the, the Disney stars, you know, um, Donald and uh, Pluto. Whoa. 
Why did you do that? You say sorry. Someone has already visited us. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't really know how to act in those kind of situations, you know, I didn't really want my photo taken and I just kind of wanted to say hello, but yeah, it was, it was, it was a good experience, good experience. Yeah, guys, so as you can see, we've got some influences in the background there, I'm trying to get that perfect shot, doing a dance, whatever it is that they do, you know, um, you know, so you get it everywhere, you know, and I'll probably go for another round. No point sticking around and watching it because there's better things to do here at Disneyland. So, Videopolis, Videoopolis, whatever. This is probably the closest thing I've found so far to a video store. Uh, I'm not really sure what's in there, but I'm, I'm excited. So, uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's go in there and see if there's any video stores. I highly doubt it, but you know, fingers crossed, guys. So obviously it's not a video store. Uh, kind of got my hopes up, but you know, still it's a you know kind of like a cinema restaurant lounge. Uh, just goes to show cinemas aren't dead. So guys, uh, yeah, looks like uh, your boy Alan's going to be running the store for a month. I'm going to show you how things are done really well here. I'm going to show you how to properly man the computer, the phone look after the store but we need a bit, a bit of inspiration so I've always liked this picture of me so we're gonna just put it up there oh so, look at James he's got his eyes ever watching over me so uh, I've got the uh, guardian angel you know watching over me and giving me some guidance so uh, yeah it's gonna be good you need a really good voice when talking to customers and being a former voice actor I've been able to train my voice to be a perfect telephone voice. Let me give you some examples. <clears throat> Welcome to home video, this is Alan. Welcome to home video, the latest in home video entertainment. How may I direct your call? Welcome to Home Video, this is Alan. How may I help you? Welcome to Home Video, this is Alan. Hello? 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 Shit! You know, I love the Home Video store. You know, it's my home. Um, but it actually did me really good to, to get out of the store for a bit, you know, get a bit of fresh air. Uh, and, and you know, if I had said to you, you know, 20 years ago, you know, I'm, I'm going to Europe to, to see if there are any video stores left. You know, you would have laughed at me, you know. Um, you know, I think when, you know, when people actually do end up watch, watching this, they, they're probably going to laugh at me anyway, but, you know, that, that's beside the point. Uh, you know, it's, that's one thing, you know, a video store has taught me is that you really do need to appreciate things, you know, while they're here and while you have them because you don't know, you never know when they're going to be gone for good. Uh, and yeah, that's, like I said, it's one thing that the video store has, has taught me. Should be interesting to 
see if there's you know, any video stores in Amsterdam because didn't find any in Paris. Uh, it seems to be at the moment that there's, there's none around. Um, it's quite, uh, it's quite, yeah. Uh, you know, I thought this would be the case, but I, I, I didn't really. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's frustrating, huh? One of the conditions that they gave me was that I wasn't allowed to use any maps. I don't really know much about Google Maps or anything like that. Uh, so it was it, it was a bit of a challenge. Okay, so guys, here we are in Amsterdam. Uh, we're in the main central square here at the moment. Uh, I really wish you guys had done some research on this instead of just you know sending me out aimlessly wandering the streets. Uh, Gabriella. You know, she gave, gave me a coffee this morning with some cookies. Apparently there's some really nice cookies. Uh, so I just had some of those. Uh, they're really nice. I had like four of them. Yeah, so I've been walking for a while. And yeah, once again, no video stores. Seriously guys, what did you, what did you expect to find? I mean, I'd never really felt like that before. Uh, kind of really put me, you know, inside my head, uh, which you know I'm, I'm kind of inside my head most days. But yeah, when in Amsterdam, you know. Gabriella could have told me that was special cookies. One thing I have noticed in Europe, there's lots of uh, like museums, and I thought, you know, if all else fails with the video store, maybe I could, maybe I could start up a, maybe I could start up a, a, a museum, a home video museum in, in Amsterdam because I haven't seen any you know, video stores around. And I think maybe that could be the way to go, you know. And like another thing is like it just, it, like I said, lots of museums and. And there's torture museums and there's, you know, like you know, Picasso and you know, like galleries and I thought, video store? <laughs> you know, it's their thing of the past now, so and it's really, yeah, it's, uh, I'm getting really inspired. Uh, it's freaking me out. Okay, let's go. I'm, I'm, yeah. I thought a video museum might work well, but, you know, in hindsight, yeah, I don't think many people would pay to go to a, a video, a VHS museum. I don't think they're you know, that much of a relic at this point. But you know, who knows, maybe in years to come, maybe maybe it could, could be a good idea, you know? You guys are in on this, weren't you? Alright guys, I'll see you in the morning.
telling you it's going to be filmed for me. I'm going to get some sleep. Starting to feel a, bit, a little bit normal again, actually. guys knew that I wasn't going to be able to find a video store just, you know, willy-nilly, kind of just wandering aimlessly, so they said I was allowed to use Google Maps, which made the thing a whole lot easier. I guess at the end of the day, that's one good thing that technology has brought to the table, you know, is you, it's a lot easier to find your way around, and from there on, it's a lot easier to find the video stores, I can tell you that. I don't really know where I am. I mean, Burren, Burren struck. You know, I really would appreciate it if you guys could help me on this. Okay, guys. The film gallery in Berlin. And apparently, still VHS tapes. So we're going to go in there, we're going to have a look and uh, see what we can find. So here we are, as you can see, DVDs galore. VHS tapes. When was the last time you saw VHS tapes in a video store? No? See here, more DVDs, and yeah, it looks like they've got a huge selection. Uh, fantastic, fantastic selection. You know, you never know when this when will be the last time that you see, you know, a video store. This could be the last one remaining. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited about these guys. Let's take a little bit more of a look around. Selection of films. Uh, keep moving. Mm -hmm. You see at the top more VHS tapes. Day, I think you know this Europe trip paid off. You know, we found one store at least. Uh, who knows if we'll find any more? Uh, but you know, it is good to know that video stores are still around. You know, rentals, 
uh, and, it, and it seems like there's people coming and going. Um, somebody's renting a movie now. So far as the only store I'd found, uh, but who knows how long they'll be around for. This, you know, we're in 2023 now. Um, this could be the last one. It could be gone in, you know, a year or two. Who knows? It's nobody knows. And it was good to know that there are still, you know, stores out there. Well, a store out there at this point. Oh, best part of the day. Oh. Finally get to watch some TV, some movies. Hopefully there are some good movies on. You guys are gonna be okay, just yeah, just film I guess, do your thing. It really is yeah, sometimes it is the best time when you know late at night where you can just finally after a hard day just you know, get in and finally watch a movie at night time, you know, it's kind of a bit of a luxury. Uh I don't have English. Oh, they've got to have English. They don't have English. I don't have anything against the language, I just can't understand it. research is a lot better but maybe tomorrow might have a little bit more luck in, uh, in Munich Hey, Alan, it's James. <coughs> That's the... <coughs> I think... That, that cough sounds pretty bad. <coughs> no, it's got a bit of a cold, man. That's all. Oh, how's things going in... Um... Oh, where are you? Yeah, well, I'm just in uh, just in Munich. Oh, found any video stores yet? Went out today looking for a store. We've, we found one store at the moment. Um, but, you know, we're going to venture out tomorrow. See if we can find find another one. You know, everything's okay with the store. No, things are going really good in the store. It's just uh, a bit quiet at the moment, but... Uh... What's... What's all that... What's that ringing? Yeah, just let me know if there's any problems. <coughs> I'm gonna go. Okay, well, look, I won't hold you up. Love you, big luck. <coughs> <coughs> I think, I think the store's okay. Here 
Video Tech, basically one of the last video stores in Munich. Uh, I'm, I'm excited, guys. Uh, if you just come through this way. Yeah. Yeah, the back store, the, 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 old, the old back room in the video store. Yeah. And it's quite extensive. Yeah, sure As you can see up there, if you just come through. You've got the uh, hairy squirt. Uh, oh. Nylon and foot strap on. Um, see this isn't really, this isn't, this is never really my section of the video store but Obviously, it's a, there's a lot going on in here, as you can see. Um, and there's obviously a, a market for it. Uh, yeah, we'll get out of this area. We'll get out of this area, I think. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna. Might actually see if I can just get a quick interview with the owner. Uh, so, we're here with the video store mm -hmm. owner, um, <laughs> but I don't think we can do interview because you don't know much English. Yeah, I understand English, but I forgot. Not much. Uh, uh. Not much. We, we can't really interview because I don't understand, you don't understand. Yeah, I understand you. You do. But I can uh, not speak good. Yeah. Uh, why why, um, why you still have the video so? It, because it's... Uh, it's... You love it. Yeah, no, it's not. It's business. Business. Yeah. And yeah. business going strong? Yeah. Going good? Normally. Yeah. Uh, I can live. Yeah? Yeah. And you own the store? Yes. So, so that's why I guess because franchise, you know, the franchise is closed down, uh, but independent video stores. In former, in former times we have 80 stores in Germany, really? 80, yeah. And now just one. That's the last two in Munich. This one. This and another one. And one more. Yeah. Okay, we guys. have we have uh, 80 stores in, in in Germany. And now gone. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the thing. They're all uh, they're all gone now. So, last man standing. Yes. <laughs> and you think you think you'll be going for a long time? Maybe ten years. Even more. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank. Thanks, okay. Thank, thank you. See you later. Yeah. yeah. So obviously, as you can see, um, the independents are still able to, you know, stay alive. It was the franchises, you know, they, they're all closed down, and like you said, they had 80 stores, but last video store. Um, but it, it, it's it's really good, you know. I, I think it's really good that the independent film stores are still still going strong. Um, so, yeah. It's an extensive range in here, and um, see they've got a lot of Blu-rays, DVDs. Uh, if you just come through, you can come through. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Uh, I always prefer, prefer the independent video stores to the, the big franchises like Blockbuster and Video Easy. There was always seemed to be more variety at the independents. Uh, the franchises are always just kind of very commercialised. So I think at the end of the day, the independents, they won. You know? Seems to be the case. Franchises may have had more stores, but the independents won. Finding a store in Munich, uh, that was that was good, and there was one other store, uh, but we had to really we had to move on at that point, uh, so we kind of kept kept moving. So Derek's actually our first AD. Um, he's been doing a bit of hard work you know, on this documentary. He's been working pretty hard actually. Um, but yeah, he's a good guy. Uh, 
Sorry to keep you waiting that long, sir. I've looked through the system. We do have a copy of Bullet with Steve McQueen. I can hold that for you. If you just give me one second, I'll just process it and I'll get back to you. Okay, one second. Hold the line, please. Thank you. So. Another 10 minutes? Oh yeah, I don't see why not. Put it on the card. Good to go. So, what colour underwear are you wearing? Sorry, you're having a hard time finding the store. Yeah, okay, where are you now? Okay, all right, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so what you do, you walk up to the top of the hill. When you get to the very top, you'll see a neon sign of the home video, right? As you, get, as you see the big driveway, there'll be an arrow pointing down, big arrow pointing down the driveway. Just walk down there and the door will be open. Just walk in that's, and then you're at the store. There's plenty of Seinfeld that we have, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can get the whole season. I know you don't want the Seinfeld thing, but that's basically Jerry Seinfeld from the B movie. We don't have the B movie. I've told you that like 50 times. Look, I don't make the selection here. My brother does. Who watches the B-movie? It was a garbage film. Well, if you can't find it here, I'm sure there's plenty of streaming services that'll cater to your needs. Go watch that there. Ah, uh, get stuff, lady. You weren't filming that, were you? Yeah, so as you see in the background there, it's the Colosseum. Uh, and I've... I've looked everywhere in Rome, haven't found any video stores, absolutely nothing. Uh, but you know, it's you know, it's not all bad because tomorrow I'm going to Cinecitta, the Italian film studio. Uh, I've been wanting to, you know, see that for a while and you know, these guys said, you yeah, know, sure, that's, that's fine, so. That's where Federico Fellini made a lot of his films, so pretty excited to go see that, guys, and uh, just, just saw the uh, here yeah, Barlo Pasolini at uh, one of the national galleries, so it's quite good, even though I haven't found a video store, it's been it's been entertaining nonetheless, so yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's, it's the Coliseum there. Um, yeah, good spot. Good spot. Yeah, so I'll just show you the reservation. Uh, Give me some warning about this. Never seen anything like it. It's very quiet. But, um, it's, it's uh, Italy. It's Italy. So, you can come through here. Got like a balcony, like the old Italian nonnas, you know, washing the clothes out. You know. Hey, Marty, 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 where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of streaming as you all know, so yeah, went in Rome, it's good to watch a bit of Federico Fellini, he's like their maestro in the filmmaking world, uh, so I'm having a bit of a fellini fun, and I've also got uh, Fellini's magic, celebrating the genius of Fellini, so I think I'm just going to sit in tonight, and... yeah, it's going to be good, it's going to be good. There was one video store in Rome, but you know, it was like two hours out of the way of, you know, the capital and, you know, the guys didn't want to travel out that far. You know, I would have gone, I would have gone that far on the train, but these guys didn't really want to travel two hours just to go to a video store. Uh, so, yeah, but still, one video store in all of Italy. It's crazy.
crazy when you think about it. I don't know what you want, like, why are you still filming for like, Do you like, oh, okay. So this is Via Veneto, this is the street that was made famous in the Dolce Vita. And as you can see, they've got a plaque here, Federico Fellini. Uh, so obviously the Italians, they honour great filmmakers. Federico Fellini, he's obviously the maestro. So I'll go for a little wander and just enjoy some of the sights and the sounds because I've got another day here. And yeah, no, no video stores, like I said. So. Overwhelming, so uh, get going. Well, here we are in Cinecitta. Uh, this is the Italian film studio. Uh, this is a place that Federico Fellini made famous, basically. I mean, there are lots of other directors that film here, but Federico Fellini put the Italian studio on the map. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good day today. I'm actually looking forward to going in here and checking it out. Uh, yeah, okay. it's a good day, so let's go, let's see what we can have, see what we can find. So we got to Chinachita, and uh, basically the people there told us that we weren't allowed to film on, on the camp with the cameras. The crew weren't allowed to film with the cameras. But, you know, for some reason you're allowed to use mobile phones. Um, I think, you know, they... I think they look at the bigger cameras and think that maybe it's you know going to be professional production, you know, which which is what it is, you know, what's what this is. But mobile phones are fair game, so you know, Derek shot on his uh, mobile phone and we were able to put that into the into the documentary. So here you'll see this is the prop that Federico Fellini used in uh, Casanova, Donald Sutherland. Uh, this is a giant head that comes out of the water. Uh, he replicated Venice or Venezia in uh, in the stage five there. So yeah, the guys just wanted me to tell you that you know we do apologise if the the quality isn't as good, but you know sometimes you have to do these things in order to you know to get to get what you what you need you know. So he used this stage for a lot of films. I told you before, for example, La Dolce Vita. La Dolce Vita. Spirits, the water slide, uh, that's Marcello Mastroianni, the famous Italian uh, actor. Mi sembrava di avere le idee così chiare. Volevo fare un film onesto, senza bugie di nessun genere. Un film che potesse essere utile un po' a tutti, che aiutasse a seppellire per sempre tutto quello che di morto ci portiamo dentro.
This was a uh, movie U571. Kind of looks like a real set. Well, yeah, it's a set. It looks like a real submarine, I guess. What are you guys doing? Oh, there's definitely an element of romanticism when it comes to traveling. And I know I enjoy romance movies, you know, I'll admit it. I'm a sucker for a good romantic film. And my love life hasn't really been the best over the years. Women come to the store and I think they see me running this this dying dream, this home video store. And I think they look at me and think that my ambition is on the lower end of the spectrum. But it's what I love, it's what I do, I enjoy it. Becky? No, no, Becky and I, we're just friends. Uh, we've known each other a long time, we're just, we're just really good friends. I mean, you guys know her, you know, she's got a heart of gold, uh, she's very caring very thoughtful. She always supports me and supports the video store and never puts me down or tries to make me look like a fool or anything like that. I love her, she's great. Um, but yeah, no, we're just friends. We're just, we're just good friends. That was the end, that's the end of Chinatita. I had a good day guys. Uh, so, uh, it's good to be on the grounds where, you know, some famous Italian films are made. Spaghetti Westerns. Uh, so yeah, it, it, like I said, even though I haven't found any beer stores, it's still been a fun time here. Uh, I'm sure you guys have had a good time too. So, let's go. Alright guys, so another train ride. Derek. How long have you been here for? Oh, half down. That's the problem with technology, you know? If you, um, technology goes offline, what do you do? You didn't think you, know, you didn't think about bringing a book, so now you're stuck. Well, good thing I brought this along with me, because, like I say, you know, you can stream all you want, but as soon as that technology goes offline, you're stuck. You're eating. Peter Jackson. It's quite good actually. It's actually a really, really good book. Goes into a bit of a bit of detail about you know, the fixes and that.
Wi Fi is back on. Nice. Really? I remember you know, when I got Lord of the Rings on VHS tapes. You know, and, you know, I got all three of them. I haven't got the Hobbits because they were made later, and you know, obviously VHS had kind of had stopped making VHS at that point. But who knows? Like maybe, maybe VHS stores, maybe they will come back. You know, like technology goes offline. Maybe, maybe in the future, maybe the technology will. I don't know. Maybe somebody will flick the switch and then. I want to go back to video stores, who knows? Sorry, Gabriel, I need to pass through. Yeah. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, I just don't know why I couldn't go on this trip with all of them. I mean, after all, I am part of the family, and... Yeah, I'm just really bummed out, I mean... Especially since, you know, Derek told me they're going in mic through the camera. Which means they're not using the boom. And, uh... If they're not using the boom, then why is Gabriella going with them, you know? Just sounds like to me she got a free trip out of this. I suppose it helped that she's dating Derek, but uh, you know it's. I suppose you can't, you know, fight that, can you? Would be nice though. I look like Michael Bay though in his cap. <laughs> This is the uh, home video catch. Oh, hello, Jojo. Who's my big boy? Who's my big boy? Who's my big boy? Are you my, are you my big boy? Oh, Jojo. Who's my big boy? I just wanted to thank you guys, you know, like, this has been quite an adventure for me. And, you know, it wasn't until I really ventured out into the world, you know, and did this trip that I kind of realised a few things, you know. You know, I've been looking at the world through movies, through a glass screen my whole life. You know, it's the same with the modern generation looking at the world on their mobile phone through a glass screen. The difference is one's analogue and one's digital, but they're both, it's both really the same. You know, when you get out there and you actually experience the world, you know, all your senses are there. You know, you can see it, you can hear it, you can taste it, you can feel it, you can, you can smell it. And I think that's the difference with analog and digital, is that, you know, VHS tape, you can, you can feel it, you can touch it, you know, you can, you can hear it, you can smell it, you know, if you really want to, uh, and you can taste it. You know, if you really want to but it's there you know it's there in front of you with digital it's you can just hear it and you can just see it you're losing half your senses you know, it's like you're getting you know, you're getting your two fruit and you're not getting your vegetables that's the way I see it it's, um, you're kind of becoming malnourished with digital technology we as people we're all 
we're all made up of chemicals really it's, and it's, that's what analog is you know, it's it's film I think I relate much more to, to that than than digital technology you know and I think therein lies the difference I think we're in a day and age where we can we can live with both you know we can learn to live with both uh, there's nothing wrong with that I think technology has the ability to be able to be good and it also has the ability to be able to be bad but you know I'm, I'm over I'm over talking about what's better you know, and what's and what's worse I think I'm just at a point where I just want to be able to accept both and learn to live with both you know, home video will always have a place in my heart really because it reminds me of my childhood you know it, whenever I pick up a VHS tape or a DVD I can, you know it brings me back it makes me remember you know it's like the older generation you know, why do they have such strong ties to, to vinyl records it's because they can pick it up and they can physically hold it and they can smell it and it takes them back to when they were dancing in their living room with their wife or when they first you know, met their, their girlfriend or when they were you know, sleeping under the stars listening to music you know, it, it has the ability to be able to take you back you know, and that's what that's what the senses do I often wonder if you know in the future if we'll be able to say the same thing about streaming services or about digital technology you know whether We'll be able to. It will be able to take us back to a time that we remember. I think it's been good, but I think it's. I think it's time to go home. I think it's time to go home, guys. How you been anyway? Oh, James, I hope you've had a great trip. I got you a new video shelf. It looks good, huh? Yeah, I guess it looks good. I've been filming with the guys, but it's not the same without you. I miss you, you big goon. I'll see you soon. Love, Alan. Oh. Life is beautiful. Roberto Benini, an Italian film actually. You know how I like the Italian films. What? You watching YouTube? That's cool. That's cool. It's not the flashy special effects or the, you know, it's all the Colosseum or the Eiffel Tower or the big, you know, flashy landscapes. It's just the little things. It's a wave goodbye or it's a, it's a tear falling down somebody's face. We've forgotten about that. It's all become too extravagant. And I think it's good to bring it back down to earth every now and then. It's good to be home. Go back to your roots and remember where it all began. It's good to be home. Yeah, that's that's what home video is all about. <laughs>